I am Allison Dorman with West Realty Team, and you want to know about Prosper Texas. And I've got some good stuff to tell you, so stick around. So at West Realty Team, we love North Dallas, and we are helping people all the time get settled here and learn about the area. And so if you ever need a resource in the North Dallas area, then you're gonna want to subscribe to our channel. Just ring that little bell, smash it, crush it, whatever you need to do so that you don't miss any of our videos that we put out weekly about what it's like to live, work, and play, and all the fun things in North Dallas. So there's a lot of great suburbs of the Dallas area, and we're gonna be talking about Prosper, which was voted one of the best places to live. It's a great little small town, and our job is to make you feel like you're a local, you know everything, and so if this is the place that you're looking at moving, you'll know everything, you're gonna fit right in, it's all good. So first, let's just take a snapshot of the Prosper area, and, um, yeah, that will just help you learn a little bit about it. So first of all, population is 25,600 on average. And so it's kind of a new boom town. Um, its population has been growing steadily lately. And it's kind of along what people call the Golden Corridor, which just this follows the Dallas North Tollway just all the way up and it's continuing to get extended and grow. And so as that happens, the population just keeps on coming. There's lots of um, new businesses and neighborhoods in the area to just kind of help um, sustain and keep up with that population growth. So the average age in Prosper, Texas is 34. So, you know, got a little bit younger, got a little bit older, but um, 34 is kind of the average age. And then just a couple little last little pop um, quiz facts, if you will, then we'll get to the local, the local details. Um, the medium home price is 408,000 and the average household income in the Prosper area is about 133,971. If you're one of those super big numbers, people, I'm more of a word girl myself, but you know, some of you like spreadsheets. So there you have it. And then um, the graduation, not graduation weight, although the high school does have a really high graduation weight, the um, <clears throat> population of Prosper that has a graduate degree is 96%. So it might be kind of a little bit of a dorky area. I don't know, you can decide for yourself. Okay, so our family moved to Prosper from Atlanta, Georgia. And so we kind of had to learn some things about Prosper when we first moved here. So we totally get it if you feel like you want to learn about this area and see if you could also fit in here and be comfortable. So one of the things that we noticed pretty quickly is that sports is like everything here. So um, people really, really are into sports. So there's lots of opportunities um, for young kids all the way up to adults to be involved in any sport you can probably think of. Um, there's a uh, rec field <clears throat> right in the middle of town that's got soccer, lacrosse, um, flag football, there's a turf field, there's softball fields, there's baseball fields, there's a little of everything. Um, and so it's a it's an area where people like to get their kids involved in sports pretty young. And, um, and they just really kind of rally around the teams and um, it's really just kind of a big deal. So if you are a sports fanatic, you're like, yay, bump finger, woohoo then I think that you're gonna like prosper a lot. Um, so even at the high school, they just put in a $48 million um, stadium. And so it's used obviously for the high school football teams. Um, it shares the stadium with all of the high schools that are in the area. So right now there's two, and then there's another one that's gonna be opening down the road, um, literally and time-wise down the road. So um, that's kind of, one of the things that's nice about it is that everybody is able, because it's so large, everybody, town, um, family, guests, whatever, are able to kind of gather together community vibes and enjoy Friday night lights. So um, that's just kind of something that's, you know, really unique to this area to prosper. And um, they also have inside the stadium, they 
use it for community events. And so there's a big community center in the front that you know the Chamber of Commerce uses to hold meetings and kind of update different business people um, about what's going on. Obviously, I'm sure the school uses it for different purposes. And then um, the high school has a culinary program and so they provide food. It's pretty nice how everything's kind of integrated and supports itself, if you will, um, in the town. So if, you, um, if you're into sports, uh, then Prosper is gonna be good for you. If you're not into sports, I'm just gonna let you know it's okay. But on Friday night, if you're wondering where everybody is, they're at the football game. Okay, so number two thing to make you feel like a local in Prosper, you're gonna be driving around and you're gonna see that people like to put stickers on their car. And I'm not talking about like, you know, save the whales and um, coexist or any of those things, although you might see those too, but what I'm talking about is the letter P. So sometimes we joke about, um, my husband and I joke about Prosper being sponsored like by Sesame Street, you know, by the letter P. Now obviously you can see why it's the letter P, P for Prosper, but um, it's really cool that people get really into their P's, which from a vegetable standpoint sounds great, but the letter P, and so um, you'll find all over the place just different designs. People kind of customize them and personalize them. People here, not everybody, but there's some people here that are like straight up Texans and they love to like bling out everything. And so on their car on the back, their P's kind of like glitter and gold and shine and shimmer. Um, you'll see a lot of bedazzled, if you will, or a lot of like sparkly P's for those that, um, are into that kind of stuff. But then you also see some that are, you know, florals and Aztecs and um, green and some of the different school colors around here. So just know that um, the letter P is something that you're gonna see around a lot. So obviously you'll figure it out pretty quickly because it's Prosper, but um, if you wanna feel like a local, you might wanna pop into one of the, the um, sporting goods stores around here and grab your P, stick it on the back of your car and then people will think you've lived here forever. Okay, so third thing that you need to know to like nestle into the town of Prosper and feel like I've lived here forever, it's really fine, um, is the weather. So a couple things about the weather. First of all, it's pretty hot. It's Texas, you probably figured that out. Like you're gonna, you're gonna need to wear deodorant if you don't already, um, maybe even like six bottles. Um, just kidding, but it does get really hot here. It's not very humid, but the temperatures, especially obviously in the summertime, get up into the triple digits. And so, um, yeah, if you're someone that doesn't like to sweat or doesn't like to wear shorts, then, you know, you might want to live somewhere else. But um, if you uh, can handle the heat, then it's going to be a great environment for you because we do get to enjoy the outside um, for most of the calendar year. It doesn't get, we don't have a huge fall and we don't have a huge, you know, official winter. Um, it's just kind of lots of summer and then a little bit of spring and there is again there is a fall and there is a winter but it's just not very extreme and so um there's lots of time for you to play outside um enjoy you know bike riding and whatever else it is that you like to do outdoors go to the football games um and so just know that it does get really hot here um another thing about the weather is it's really windy here and so um I did not know this again, our family moved here from Atlanta. And so when we first moved here, I had just like, kind of like I do now, just, you know, really long hair. And um, it didn't take me too long to just all of a sudden just have this crazy wind blown action going on. Um, you can see today I put it up, half up. And that's because it is really windy in, um, really just in Dallas in general. And so it's actually, if you look at the numbers, just by a smidge, but we're actually even windier than Chicago. And so it's not like you walk outside and you're like blown away, but I'm just saying for the ladies, if your hair is a thing, um, you're gonna really quickly learn about hairspray or maybe just wearing a hat sometimes or putting your hair up or just knowing that sometimes after you've spent some time outside, you know, at a ball game or at the pool, whatever it is that you just might kind of need to refresh your, your little hair before you go on and do something else because um, yeah, it's, it's pretty windy here. Okay, so the next thing about living in Prosper. We have a train, yeah. So um, I'm gonna be really honest. When we first moved out here, my husband had transferred out before the rest of us and he'd been living in 
um, you know, in an apartment for about three months. And then we had our fourth baby back in Georgia. Just kind of wanted to keep that simple with the doctor and everything. And then um, the rest of us came out to Texas after that was kind of settled down to join him. And um, he had to fly back for the closing. And so I got here, got into our house, went to sleep and then at about one in the morning, uh, loud train horn woke me up. There's a long black train coming down the line. And I was like, oh my gosh, my husband's going to freak out because we bought this house and we didn't really think to notice that there was a train. But I'm gonna tell you that first of all, it's now become a no horn zone. So it doesn't um, honk or anything like that anymore in the residential areas. Um, now that neighborhoods have been out, put out here and things like that, and the area has grown up more, um, it's been you know put into a no horn zone. And the second thing is honestly that after a while, you don't even hear it. Um, the sound of the horn, I mean, the sound of the train, and if every now and then they do have to blow it, if you know, like there's something on the tracks, like a coyote or anything like that, um, you kind of get to where it just becomes background noise. And so now it's actually kind of soothing when the train goes by. Um, you know, depending on how, where you live, you don't even hear it at all. But um, if you really listen for it, sometimes you can hear it. And then it's really cool. Kids think it's so awesome to be just standing there, you know, driving around and you see the train and they just like, oh. Um, and so just know that there there is a live train that runs to the town of Prosper. And um, it used to be uh, a grain silo area. And so um, it still, still runs through here. And then um, what's funny about it though, and I don't know if I should use the word funny, but let's just be really honest that sometimes you get stuck by the train. They're kind of working on that. Like I said, the area is growing. There's lots of neighborhoods and lots of people out here now. And so the train um, is having to kind of adjust its times, but, but really there are times when the train just has to come through and you just get stuck um, sitting there. And so your kids might need to be getting to school or you might, you know, need to be getting to an appointment or to work and you just have to wait out the train. And so just know that that is something that people in this area are very aware of. And you'll, you'll hear things like on the loudspeaker at school, you know, like, you know, bus 17 just got here because of the train, please excuse them or whatever. Or if someone is supposed to meet you for coffee and they're like, Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I got stuck by the train. Like they're not lying. They really do want to hang out with you. Um, they, they legit did just get stuck behind the train so again it's for the most part not really that big of a deal but there are a few times when um you know you just you just get caught by the train and so just know that every now and then if that happens um and you use it as an excuse it's not really an excuse it's just a thing in prosper the train okay so one of the other things that you need to know about prosper so that you can feel like a local um is there's water towers. I don't know if that's just a Texas thing, but there are water towers everywhere. And so people love the water towers. They love that kind of like small town country vibe. There's silos around here. Um, they kind of talk about Prosper as being a small town with a big heart. And so one of the things you're gonna notice as you're driving around is people like wave to you, they say hello. And so if you're from somewhere where that's kind of not the norm, like don't be alarmed. They're not like creepers, they're just friendly Texans. And so if um, if you're out and about, you know, you wave to your neighbors and um, if they wave at you, just wave back. Or, you know, if you are at the grocery store and someone, you know, says, hey, again, just say, hey, like, hey y'all, you know. Um, that people are really friendly. They have no problem having a conversation with you at the checkout line, whatever. And so um, just to let that get you, you know, caught off guard. If, which just strikes up a conversation and says hello. Just say hey back and you'll be good. Um, and so last thing um, about Prosper is that um, people kind of talk about their bubbles up here. And I don't mean like, you know, bubbles that you blow. Um, all those, those can be fun too. Um, but really what you'll find is that people kind of have their little pocket like Prosper. And then there might be Frisco and then McKinney and kind of some of the, the neighboring um, towns. And so they like to kind of stay in their bubble, if you will. And so Prosper, um, it's, its bubble is growing. And so they now have got, you know, grocery store and some shopping centers that have opened up that um, are kind of exciting, lots of restaurants. The, the town square um, is really working on kind of, you know, building itself up and developing and adding in some new restaurants and new shops and new businesses down there and just kind of giving that some life. Um, they've got some good plans for that. And so, um, 
So even though people talk about their bubble and kind of staying in their town a lot because it's convenient because everything's there, you've got your own post office, you've got your own library, you've got your own grocery stores and shops. Um, the great thing is that there's lots of um, easy access to different areas. And so the Dallas North Tollway runs right up through Prosper. And so that makes it easy to get to um, really like anywhere uh, because it goes almost all you know through Dallas. And so um, even though you you feel like you're maybe far up north, um, it's really not that far. It's like a 30 minute, 40 minute drive into Dallas, um, obviously depending upon traffic. And so um, you're really not that far away from everything. And then there's also Preston Road, um, which don't worry, you don't have to memorize all this later. We'll just, we'll quiz you on it, but it's fine. Um, but Preston Road is another uh, big road in the Prosper area and um, also gets you to a lot of different places that are nearby, Frisco, McKinney. Um, if you go to the other way, you can get to Gunner and then eventually Oklahoma. So um, it's kind of positioned well. And the thing that we appreciate about it is again, coming from Atlanta, one of the things that was frustrating about Atlanta, at least where we lived, was there was kind of like one way to get somewhere. And then, so if there was traffic, if there was an accident, if there was, you know, build up, then you were just kind of stuck sitting in traffic because there were not a lot of alternate routes. And so I feel like um, this area does a good job of thinking forward and making sure that there's several ways to get to the same place so that if one of them is blocked or one of them is busy or there's an accident, not that we want that to happen, but um, there's definitely other ways to get places so you don't feel like you're stuck. So you can get stuck behind the train, but you might not get. Okay, so there you have it. Some of our favorite things about the town of Prosper, whether you're sweating at a football game, wearing your Prosper P on a Friday night, or you were late to the game because you got stuck behind the train, or you had to stop and fix your hair because it got all crazy from the wind, just kidding. Um, but we hope that, um, that you learned a little bit about Prosper and um, we love helping families get settled in here. And so if you need a resource um, in the Prosper area, then please just give us a call, give us a text, send us a little smoke signal, whatever you need to do, just reach out and we would be happy to be a resource for you. We are West Realty Team and we serve the North Dallas area and we want you to subscribe to our channel because we have great videos that come out every single week and we don't want you to miss learning about all the fun stuff that's happening up here in North Dallas.